Hello everyone, in this particular video, we will be seeing how we can install Hadoop at a glance. So for installing Hadoop, first you require Java in your system. So for installing Java, we will be installing the JDK. So you can visit this particular URL for installing JDK. Here you can click on the Windows tab and then you can download this exe file. Now once you click on it, you will be getting an agreement. So you just have to click the checkbox and then proceed by clicking the button. Now after clicking, it will ask you to sign in to your Oracle account. If you don't have any, you can create one because it's free. Now once you sign in with your email ID and password, your file will get downloaded. Now you just have to click on that particular file and then click next. So once you click next, you will get this particular interface. Now here you just have to click on the next button and then all the files which are required for installing Java into your system will start downloading. So let's wait for it to download. Now you can see that the task is done. Now after the task is successfully done, you can see this particular interface which will ask you to select the destination folder. You just have to click on the button change and then move to your C drive and create a new folder. The name of the folder will be Java. And once you create that folder, you just have to click OK and then click Next. So once you click Next, the remaining installation process will start and it will take some time. And after that, your installation is successfully done. So once you get this interface, you just have to click the button Close. And next, you just have to do one small task that you need to move to your program files and inside this you can find the java folder inside which you can find this jdk folder now you just have to cut this jdk folder from this particular directory and then paste this into your java folder which you have created in the c directory so move to that folder and just paste this jdk folder so it will take some time and it will be done so once you are done with this you can go back to your program files and just delete that java folder to avoid any folder duplication. Now let me quickly delete this particular folder in here. Now we are done with the installation process. Now it's time to set the environment variables. So you just have to click the start button and then type the edit environment variables and you will get this interface. Just click on the environment variables and you can see two dialog boxes. So inside the upper one, you just have to click on the button new and you need to create a variable. So the name of the variable will be Java underscore home. Next, you need to put the value of the variable, which will be the path to the bin folder inside the JDK folder. So let's quickly visit there. So this path you need to copy and then you need to paste it as the variable value of the variable java underscore home. Now that's it. You just have to click OK. Now coming to the dialog box at the lower end. So here you can just scroll down and click the path option and then you need to click on the new button. So after that you can create a new path and inside which you you just have to paste the same path that we have copied earlier. Then just click OK, OK and again OK. Now we are done with the entire process of installing Java in our system. So let's test whether Java has got successfully installed or not. So you just have to type Java C and hit enter. So if you can see the list of files popping up, then that means that your Java has got successfully installed. Now let's check the version which you can check easily by this command and you can see that the Java version 1.8 has got successfully installed. So now the prerequisite process is done. So let's proceed for installing Hadoop. So you can visit this particular URL which is the official website of the Apache Hadoop. Here you can get the download link. Now under the download section you can see some of the versions. So I won't recommend you to install the latest version because it may not be stable. So instead of that, you can install the version that is immediately before that latest version. So you just have to click binary under the binary download and you will be redirected to this particular website. So here you need to click the first link that will download the tar file of Hadoop. So you can see that 
the tar file of Hadoop is getting downloaded. Now you can see that the Hadoop tar file has got successfully downloaded. Now I have moved this file inside the C directory and now I will be extracting this, this tar file. So the extraction process is complete and this tar file contained a single folder whose name is Hadoop followed by its version. So we will rename this particular folder as Hadoop only. Now inside the Hadoop folder you can find this etc folder inside which you can again find this Hadoop folder and inside which you can find list of different files. Now out of all of these files we are going to focus on five major files which is core site, HDFS site, MapReduce site, YARN site and then the Hadoop configuration file. So let me quickly open this important files inside the notepad. Here you can see that I have opened all the five files. First is the core site followed by the MapReduce site followed by the YARN site followed by the HDFS site and the last file that is the configuration file. Here we just have to include the path. So let's go and set the configuration for the core site file. So you can see I have pasted the desired configuration for this particular file. Now here I have set the property. The name of the property is the default fs and the value of this property is the port number which is 9000. Now we are done with the configuration of the core site file. Now let's move on to the MapReduce site xml file. Inside this you just have to set a single property. The name of the property will be mapreduce.framework.name and the value of this property is yarn. So let's move on to the next file which is yarnsite.xml inside this you, you will have to write two different properties don't worry you will get the, the xml configuration code for all of these files in the description box now once we set the configuration for this particular file we will now move on to the another file which is the hdfs site.xml now before setting the configuration for this, first we will visit the C drive. Now inside the C drive you can find the Hadoop folder. Just move in that and inside this Hadoop folder you need to create a new folder and name the folder as data. Now once you do this, move in that data folder and here you need to create two more folders. So the name of the first folder will be name node and the name of the second folder will be data node. Now once you are done creating these two folders, come back to the hdfs site.xml file inside the notepad. Now here you need to paste these three properties. Now you can see that the second and third properties are for defining the property of name node and data node. So you can see that we will be copying the path to the folder name node and then we will paste this particular path of the name node folder in this particular space which will be the value of the property name node similarly for the data node we are going to paste the path to the folder data node and that's it for this file now let's move on to the last file which is for configuring the hadoop environment so here you can see that you need to set the value of the java home variable so you just have to move to the jdk folder inside the java folder that you have created inside the c directory copy the path and then paste it in this particular space now that's it we are done with configuring all the files that are required now we will set the environment variables so again visit the environment variables and here you need to first create a variable which will be named as hadoop underscore home now the value of this variable will be the path to the Hadoop bin folder which has got created inside the C drive and you just have to copy this particular path and then paste this path as the value of the variable Hadoop underscore home and click OK. Now move down and here you need to set the path. So inside the bottom dialog box just click on the path section and then click on edit. Now after this you need to create a new path variable 
So here you have to paste the same path that we have pasted earlier inside the Hadoop underscore home variable. And with the path of the bin folder, we also have to paste the path of the sbin folder, which you can find it in the Hadoop folder. So just paste the path of this sbin folder also and then click on OK. Now that's it for the configuration of the environment variables also. Now let's move on to the Hadoop folder inside which you can find out the bin folder. Now inside this bin folder, some of the important files which are required for accurate installation of Hadoop are missing. So we will have to replace this bin folder with the correct bin folder which contains all the proper files. You can get the zip file of the correct bin folder in the description box. Just download that zip file and extract it. Inside this zip file, you will be getting a folder inside which you will find out the correct bin folder. You can see inside this bin folder, you can see all the files are there. Now what we will do is, we will cut this bin folder and we will replace this new bin folder with the old one, which was not having all the files. So you just have to delete the old bin folder and paste the new bin folder and you can delete the zip file and the folder inside it. So now we are done with the proper installation of the Hadoop. Now it's time to test whether Hadoop has got successfully installed or not. So open the command prompt and type this particular command hdfs space name node space hyphen format and you can see the list of files popping up like this. So if you can see this type of message then Hadoop has got successfully installed. You can also see the message that it has got successfully installed. Now we will change the directory. So we will move into this particular folder. So inside the C drive, you need to move to the bin folder of Hadoop. So just copy the path and then type this particular command cd space and then paste the path. So the directory has got changed and then type this command start hyphen dfs so this is going to start two daemon like this so if this particular daemons are starting then hadoop is successfully installed and now let's come back to the command prompt and write this command start hyphen yarn this will again start two more daemons which depicts that the yarn is getting started so now it's time to again come back to the command prompt and then type this one more command which is JPS. So after running this command you can see that the list of Java processes that are running. Now come to a browser and localhost colon the port number 9870 and you can see that the Hadoop has got started at this particular port number. So you can also see the different tabs of data node, data node volume failures snapshot summary, startup progress and you can also see more of the options. So now it's time for moving to another port number which is 8088. So at this particular port number you can see this web interface. So if you have followed all the procedures step by step then you can surely see this particular output. If you would have done any mistake inside the procedure then you will not get anything running on this particular port. So that's it for the installation of Hadoop. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts, you can post it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you.